Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, back again today doing a review. I've never really done a formal review on this channel. Like me and my buddy, we've done some uh, podcast chat videos where we give our thoughts and opinions on stuff, but I've never just done a formal review, and that's that's what this is going to be. So uh, just a little bit of backstory. This is over the documentary on Netflix called The Power of Grayskull, which is a documentary about the He-Man and the Masters of the Universe franchise from Mattel, uh, there's been like cartoon series, comic books, there's been a live action film back in the day. Uh, really big franchise, but it was a piece of like nerd culture that I myself never really saw myself getting into as an adult. Uh, I think, let's see, back in 2001, 2002, Mattel did like the reboot Masters of the Universe with an all new rebooted TV show and a new line of toys. And I think I got into that, but 2002, I was probably 10 or 11 years old. So that makes sense. But as an adult nerd, you know, where you see me collecting Marvel legends and DC universe classics and watching all kinds of like animated kids shows uh star wars animated kids shows which i usually don't like but uh you know the dc animated universe all that kind of stuff uh he-man and the masters of the universe was definitely one of the things i did not see myself being a fan of as an adult but i was going underway on my ship and i needed to download some stuff on netflix to take with me we don't have recreational internet on the ship and uh, I just wanted stuff to watch. So I saw there was this Power of Grey Skull documentary. There were really good reviews about it online already. And I thought, you know what? It's, it's nerd stuff. You know, it's nerd culture. It's nerd related. And I used to be kind of into it as a kid. I watched a couple episodes of the TV show. I, I had some of the toys. I remember me and my brother between the two of us. I think, I think we only ever had uh, He-Man, Battle Sound He-Man and Skeletor. I think that's all me and him ever had between us. And I mean, I liked that. And that was from that reboot line in 2002. And I mean, I liked it back then. I liked the toys. I thought the toys looked cool. I thought the show was cool. Uh, but as I grew up, it just kind of like faded into the back. And then all I ever saw of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe since then was like, masters of the universe classics from mattel and that was all made to kind of resemble the old school design of, from the 80s of these characters and kind of meant to also be reminiscent of the filmation animated tv show from the 80s which is this really old dated look to me uh but in anyway i downloaded the documentary and I took it on board while I was underway on my ship and I watched it and I was honest to God, super enthralled and interested. And it just showed me that like, it, it doesn't matter what kind of a nerd you are, you can become a different kind of nerd. Like I was, I, I like, I like quite a few animes. I can name a couple of animes. I joke with my friends and people and tell them like, uh, that I'm the nerd king. I know it sounds kind of arrogant, but, uh, like I was in a class one time during my like Navy initial Navy training and the instructor, somehow the class got talking about the Hobbit and the Hobbit movies. And the instructor said like, uh, those movies are inaccurate because they take place 60 years before the Lord of the Rings. And at the end of the battle of five armies, Legolas's father tells him to go seek out a young ranger named Strider and he's like well this movie takes place 60 years prior to the Lord of the Rings Aragorn wouldn't have even been alive and I just I was just sitting there doing my doing my work and I just popped up trying to I was like actually it is accurate because Aragorn is one of the Dúnedain or Dúnedain depending on how you want to pronounce it they're the descendants of the the first men of the north who were blessed by Numenor with long life and the entire class is just looking at me like, did that just come out of this dude's mouth? Like, I'm not trying to sit here and say that I'm some like super handsome princely looking guy, but like, I definitely don't look like your typical nerd, especially when I'm, you know, sitting in like a, a Navy training classroom with a uniform on, you, you don't really think about it. And then I just chime in with this nerd knowledge and just boom, lay it down. And people are just kind of like, who the fuck is this guy? 
and I joke with people. I'm like, I don't look it, but I'm actually the nerd king. I, I can rattle off at least half a dozen to a dozen anime that I like. I love Marvel. I love DC. It doesn't matter whether we're talking comics, movie, TV shows, doesn't matter. Video games, doesn't matter. I love various different types of video games. I'm an avid sci-fi fantasy novel reader. Like I am a through and through nerd. But He-Man and the Masters of the Universe was never one of my things. And I shit you not, I watched that documentary. And as soon as I got home, I got home yesterday afternoon. I told myself the whole, the whole boat ride home. I was like, all right, you like the documentary. It doesn't mean you need to go collect the toys. It doesn't mean you need to start rewatching the show. But lo and behold, I get home. And what is the, one of the first things I do is I find myself on my phone. And I'm just like, let me just see like how much they go for on eBay. These these figures and I'm looking and I'm like oh that's that's not too bad and then I'm checking for a Castle Grayskull playset and then I'm like oh I wonder if the whole that whole rebooted animated TV show of He-Man and Masters of the Universe I wonder if that's all on YouTube and I search it and sure as shit it is and then I start watching it and I'm about like a dozen episodes in at this point and and now I'm sitting here going you know what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna collect all the reboot ones because uh yesterday all afternoon all last night all this morning i've been doing my research and it seems to be that the the reboot show from like 2002 that is the version of the story that is the most fleshed out and gives you the most like backstory for the characters their origins where they all come from what's the main plot what the hell's going on in this crazy world cuz it's this it's this crazy world and that's what appeals to me the most cuz it's like it's so wacky and just ridiculous and if you've seen any of my other videos talking about DC or Star Wars or any of that you'd know that I just like I don't really like wacky ridiculous or at least that's what you would think and that's not really it at all. I, I can get on board with some wacky, ridiculous shit as long as that was the intention from the get-go. But if, if it was originally intended to have a certain level of seriousness to it, and then over time you just thought, nah, fuck it, it's some wacky, insane shit. Let's just you know slap some shit together. That's when it irritates me. But He-Man and the Masters of the Universe has been just bombastic, <laughs> off-the-wall shit since day one. It's like... It's like if someone was like, hey, dude, here's what we're going to do. We're going to try and take Conan the Barbarian and mush it together with Star Wars and see what we get. And you end up with He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. And there's like there's characters in there who are just like decked out with high tech, advanced sci fi technology, like man at arms has got like he's like cyborg from D.C. Like his arms turn into guns and shit. And he's there's people riding around on hovercrafts and crazy sci fi vehicles. But then there's also this lady in this castle who's a sorceress and he man's got a magic power sword that or Prince Adam has a magic power sword that through magic turns him into he man. And then there's this little wizard creature named Orko that floats around and like, you don't know what he looks like under his hat and robes. It's like, all you can see are his eyes. It's this wacky, insane shit. And then the Prince Adam has a pet tiger that's orange. That's, that's, it's green with orange stripes. It's this wacky, insane shit. And it's just nuts. It's just off the wall nuts. And it's just, it's so nuts and wacky and crazy that it's cool. I was looking at some of the, uh, the artwork that was done for the, the toy line back in the the 80s and also for this reboot, the 2001-2002 the reboot. And the artwork is insane. Like, it's very, uh, I don't know, like, I, I would, with modern day special effects and costume design and everything, I would, I would, I would almost be willing to pay money to see a He-Man and the Masters of the Universe movie. Like, it would have... I don't even know who to, who I would pick to do it because it's been tried before with Dolph Lundgren. And that was in the documentary that I watched. Uh, and that movie was so, so a lot of people still say it's a fun movie, but I'm not going to watch it. I am rewatching the shit out of the reboot animated series. But since I find the reboot animated series to be the most fleshed out version of the story, I want to collect those characters. So right over here off the side, if you've seen my, uh, what was it? my video, my second room tour video, I talk about it like right over here off to the side of my computer. I'm going to put like either a, a just a, a completely square, even like playing card table, fold out card table. 
and uh, I'm gonna put I'm gonna get a Castle Gray Skull playset. It's probably gonna have to be the the one from the 2001 2002 reboot because the I would love to get the Masters of the Universe Classics line Castle Gray Skull, but that thing is I shit you not, it's like thirteen to fifteen hundred dollars. So and it's not because the, <laughs> that's not how much they sold it for at retail, I'm sure, but that's just how much it's worth to people now because there there are no more that all the ones that exist are they're owned by people so if you want one you're paying whatever they, they want for it but it'll probably be the one from the 2001 2002 line and i'm going to put that on the card table up against the wall and i'm going to get all the the characters and figures from the reboot line of toys and i'm going to do like a battle scene where like skeletor and his forces are trying to like invade the castle and he-man and all the masters of the universe are outside the castle like repelling skeletor's invasion so yeah in case you haven't noticed uh the documentary is good and my my i have very strong positive feelings for it and just watching it I went from a zero, absolutely zero interest in this stuff to like a 10 just from watching this documentary. And I don't know if that's what they intended to use it as a marketing tool, but if so, congratulations, it worked. And then even if not, uh, I could still see it having that kind of effect. Uh, we'll have to see, you know, it's like, it depends on who's watching the documentary, I guess. Uh, most people, I think, you know, unless they are big fans of, this franchise already they might see the documentary on there but they'll they'll probably pass on it but i highly suggest if you're a nerd in any way and you like crazy wacky fictional shit sci-fi fantasy apocalyptic stuff uh and superhero comic booky type stuff and then also if you you like all that and you also happen to be a toy collector or even if you're just a toy collector you don't like any of the other stuff you're just a toy collector i highly recommend you watch it like this documentary is for nerds and or toy collectors and so if you fit either of those billets you're gonna really like the documentary and you're gonna definitely be interested in it the whole time so i give it five out of five. Ten out of ten would recommend and i can't i i i don't know i kind of want to watch it again but I also kind of just want to keep watching the show. But yeah. So yeah, just a quick video. I just wanted to like plug that documentary for really quickly and give my take on it, do a review on it. And I absolutely love it. So check that out. Let me know what you guys think. Anyone else who's watched it, uh, leave some comments below. Tell me what you guys thought. And other than that, you know, give the video a like, subscribe to my channel, check out some of my other videos. Please check the Facebook page. It is just the Chad nerd, the the uh, the profile picture is the same as the one for the YouTube channel, so it shouldn't be hard to find. Just give that a check out. And other than that, I will see you guys next time.